So next one is uh, my uh, favorite question. Like uh, you are working from last 15 years. So what are the changes that you have seen in the development from last 10 years or 15 years? As you have started your career in 15 years back and now you are working in a multinational company as a solution architect. So what are the changes you have seen in the development? Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> since uh, beginning till now, uh, like I was focused on one specific technology, frankly speaking. I never even thought about exploring multiple technologies, right? So I, when we worked on any of the project, right, at that time or any of the solution, so we were thinking to build a big, big package, right? And if anything or any any problem comes in it, right, the whole solution can go down, the application can go down, the services can go down, right? So that was, and then it converted into the distributed architecture. Like instead of, you know, uh, building one gigantic piece, you can actually convert into and deploy into multiple systems, right? And uh, also then, then came the concept of the microservices. If the microservices, then we actually divided those into uh, those small pieces and deployed as a separate microservices, right? And even it gave us the, um, uh, I would say, uh, it gave us a good, nice feature that if any of the microservice even goes down, there won't be impact on the overall solution, right? It's not like the application will just stop working. Then that piece, can just be on the side, but rest of the functionality are still working, right? So that is the big change that I've seen so far, like uh, from the big monolithic architecture, you can see the beginning, the big gigantic piece into uh, the distributed as well as in the microservices. That's the big change I have seen in the last couple of years. And the second is that I've seen is uh, how the alerts and monitoring part has improved in the last couple of years, right? Initially, like if any of the service goes down, we have to keep an eye on the logs, right? What's happening if the services are not, if we see any complaint from the customers, then we just take a look and we see where the problem is, right? So we have to go and go and check all the logs, what, what, which functionality broke. Mm -hmm. But now uh, alerts and monitoring are so uh, advanced that uh, it gives us the information before anything happens, right? That for example, um, just giving you a small example, like if uh, the system is utilizing too much of uh, memory or it's going out of RAM or the CPU is just going 100% or maybe over that, right? So those things of alerts we can get in advance so that we can take a look what exactly is happening, why the memory consumption is, getting so high, right? Or if any of the uh, application goes down, we can just get the, you know, P1 alerts that, oh my God, something is definitely happening. Uh, then even from there, we can get the information where exactly the piece is broken, right? So that thing is um, uh, really like helpful. And uh, uh, the technology frameworks, they are changed drastically. It used to be very limited technologies at that time, right? Like I have seen only Java, .NET, these technologies may be uh, CSS, not CSS even, HTML, right? So, but now there are so many frameworks, so many technologies that, uh, that can solve different type of purposes, right? You just name it and um, like, it can give you a different specific purpose to solve your problem. And uh, the next is, how the uh, DevOps related work has changed in the last couple of years. I remember initially when I like used to work with you, we had to make all those bills manually. Like something is different. Again, we have to spend whole entire day to make the bills. So that yeah, thing, that DL, thing. DLL committing and uh, versioning happening. Yeah, that's, that's not it. So yeah. uh, you are saying that uh, most of the thing those uh, that those are improved is the automation part that is being improved uh, from last uh, 10 year or 15 year uh, before that